Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Rick Van Meter, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Now, I want my audience to know that Rick Van Meter is the executive director of the Coalition for App Fairness. Rick, tell me a little bit about what your company means about being the Coalition for App Fairness. Uh, well, we're a coalition of about 70 app developers uh, based really all over the world, but primarily in the United States and in Europe. And um, what our members have in common is that they're all fighting for a fair and competitive mobile app marketplace. So these are the apps on your, your smartphone or on your tablet. And what I think probably your listeners don't know is that when you make purchases through an app, uh, for digital goods and services, so think music streaming, dating apps, or purchases that you would make within a game, those purchases are subject uh, to a 30% tax from Apple and Google on their respective platforms. So the businesses pay that fee directly, but ultimately that gets passed on um, to consumers in, in the form of, of higher cost. So we, we are working to... Um, basically allow competition within this marketplace, which would uh, not allow these two giant companies to impose these excessive fees that end up costing American consumers more money. Um, so there, there are several other issues related to this uh, and the top-down control uh, of the mobile app marketplace. Um, so we're, we're fighting you know, really to end the anti-competitive practices of, of big tech on mobile platforms uh, and allow consumers more options and choice, which which will benefit everyone. Okay, so when you make these purchases, uh, whether it's at a dating location or a clothing location, does it say nine ninety nine plus tax, or is the tax included in the purchase? All included within the purchase. And again, these are just for digital goods and services. So this wouldn't be, you know, if you're if you're shopping for something online and and buying a good that gets shipped to your house. That's a little bit different than uh, they only do this on digital digital goods and services. So think like a monthly subscription for content or um, it's those sorts of uh, uh, the app um, that are subject to this. So it only it only applies to about 15 percent of apps. So, again, you know, music streaming, dating apps, games uh, and other sorts of um, online services and goods that you might pay a subscription for or pay for through an app. Okay. I'm so glad you clarified that. So what is this costing consumers? Lots of money? It is, yes. So um, in addition to the 30% fee, which can really be almost like a, a utility bill, many families or, or individuals don't realize that they're paying, we're also missing out on a lot of innovation um, and choice in the marketplace. So. Uh, and, and good experiences. So, for example, many of our members are not able to tell their customers that they could potentially be saving money through um, a student discount or a family plan. Um, and so not only are folks paying more money for these services than they need to, but um, they're not getting the best customer service um, because, of, again, the top-down control of Apple and Google. So this is really a, a broken app marketplace, and, and it doesn't need to be this way. So Apple and Google are making this money, right? Are they paying tax to the U.S. government, or are they just keeping it in Apple and Google so they can be the biggest companies in the world? Well, these are, you know, I, I'm not familiar with their, their tax burdens, but I, I would assume that they do pay uh, taxes on, on the revenues that they make in different jurisdictions around the world. But again, you're exactly right. These are two of the largest companies really in the history of the world. And you wonder how they get this way. You know, they they impose these fees 
on uh, the developers that make products um, for their their devices that make them so popular. Um, so we believe that you know we're not saying we're, we don't begrudge them for being large and successful. That's great. That's wonderful. That's the American dream. But small companies should have the ability to compete. And um, really what we're seeing here is two very large companies use their market position to, to stomp out competition. So we just believe that there should be competition. And, and when you have other options, that will lower prices. It will improve the quality of services for uh, American consumers. And, and we'll see like a new wave of innovation uh, across the country that would, would benefit everyone. Okay, so you guys are an independent nonprofit organization. How do you want to see this change? Do you want to go before Congress, or do you want them to just be nice people and say, we'll give you some of the revenue? How do you want to see the change happen? Well, it would be great if Apple and Google would make this change on their own, but we have seen um, repeatedly that they are not willing to do so. And, in fact, they're, they're spending a lot of time and money uh, in order to fight competition uh, on the platform. So uh, this is an instance where Congress needs to step in. Uh, we are supporting legislation called the Open App Markets Act. Uh, this is a, a very bipartisan bill, uh, recently passed the Senate Judiciary Committee uh, by a 20 to 2 vote, um, including uh, Texas uh, Senator Ted Cruz supported this, but we, we've got very conservative senators, very progressive and liberal senators all supporting this, I think because it's common sense and uh, it, it really just addresses the specific actions that most people would, would say are anti-competitive. So um, we're, we're very hopeful we can get this very popular uh, bill passed in Congress and it can be a win for Republicans and Democrats. How can, if someone is sitting at home, especially small app developers, I could see them, if they wanted to see a change occur, how do they get involved? They can reach out to us on our website. So that is appfairness.org, appfairness.org. We have a lot of information there, not only for app developers who want to get involved and they can reach out to us. Uh, we, we have developers of all sizes. So we have one, one in two-person shops. We've got big companies. Uh, we've got medium-sized companies. So we would welcome any developer that would like to join us. Uh, but really, um, your, all of your listeners can get involved as well. You know, they, There's a lot of information there. And uh, one thing you can do on our website is contact your members of Congress directly and let them know that you support this bill. Um, and you know, this is really important, uh, particularly in Texas, which is the second largest um, has the second largest app economy in the country. So over 400,000 jobs uh, in the state alone uh, in the app economy, and it could really be beneficial to that. That's great. Thanks for saying that. I didn't know that. And I'm going to, before I let you go, I'm going to take this last question from Instagram. They want to know, would you be willing to pay federal tax as the App Coalition on App Development? And sorry, SPD the question is... Rick would we pay federal tax for uh, would you be willing yeah if you could get a change would you be willing to pay a federal tax well certainly our members do pay uh, federal taxes um, on on the bill and we're a nonprofit uh, coalition so we we do not pay federal income tax and we would not see any additional benefit uh, financially from the passage of this legislation Okay, Rick Van Meter, thank you so very much for bringing this to our attention. I'm something new. I'm sure this is something we can watch closely as it develops. Please come back. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcasts, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.